Okay. So I'm here at uh, OSCOM with Michael Dale from Kaltura. Uh, welcome, Michael. Hello. Um, so Kaltura, what, what is Kaltura? Kaltura is an online video platform, an open source online video platform, and it basically enables you to manage video assets on the web. Okay. So what, what would that mean to a Floss Weekly viewer? What, that, that basically means if you want to be able to create your own YouTube, that's something that uh, Kaltura enables. It right. It's a complete open source stack for transcoding, ingestion, uh, analytics, monetization, distribution. Okay. It's a full, full platform for doing everything you want to do with uh, online video today. Uh, and so who, who is using this? Who, who that we would have heard of is using this? We have quite a few customers ranging from large media companies like Disney and HBO to a lot of educational institutions using it to sort of like a campus YouTube in order to deliver their lectures and uh, right. online content to their students. So now this is in the video area, which is um, traditionally very patent encumbered. Uh, you know, Codex are a bloodbath. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and yet you're doing it all as open source. Uh, is it real open source, or is it open source is on a swing tag on the outside? Well, I mean, so our primary offering sort of a SaaS service, you know, a software as service where we sort of manage all the, the licensing requirements, and then we also sort of have an on-premise installation where we also sort of license, do the appropriate licensing for the codex and then sell it sim similar to uh, Ubuntu uh, media extensions or any, any uh, Fluendo also was selling uh, uh, extensions to GStreamer that enabled you to uh, encode and decode uh, some of the patented uh, codex. And we play that same game as well, uh, but we also do WebM and we also try to support open Codex, and we've worked with uh, Mozilla and the Wikimedia Foundation on promoting free and open Codex for quite some time. Right. It's also something important to us. So uh, th this is all open source. That mean means it's in some repository somewhere that, that the viewers can uh, go to and, and check yeah. stuff out? Yeah, check us out on GitHub slash Kaltura. We've got all our repositories up there. We just recently have moved our entire server package onto GitHub so you can actually use very close to exactly what's being uh, offered on our SaaS service and you know follow along and our entire uh, development is taking place in public and it's a great way to get the inside scoop on a you know giant production platform of uh, online video distribution. And how is that all licensed? We use the uh, AGPL for our content, and that's just to uh, enable uh, other companies that use it, since it's primarily an online service, and that would enable us to ensure that, er that everybody's able to benefit when some other company uh, is using the code and creating new experiences right. with it and comes back to the community. Right, so but you, you'd like people to, to get involved in that, that Git project and yeah, make, make pull requests? Yes, please do. We, we love pull requests. Right. <laughs> we love, uh, yeah, there's a great uh, repository there. You can check it out. There's uh, player.kaltura.com sort of has our entire front-end platform as sort of a visible uh, feature hub there. And then the back-end platform is also available to check it out and uh, check it out locally and play with it and uh, tell us what you think. Right. And I, I heard rumor that you have a conference or something coming up and some competitions. What, yes, what's, what's the yes, deal there? We have Kaltura Connect is coming up. Uh, it's going to be based in New York, and my colleague Zohar will tell you all about it. Okay, let's see if we can get Zohar on the camera. So uh, this is Zohar Babin from Kaltura. There we go. Let's get the camera lined up. So Zohar, t tell us about these competitions and about the um, and about the the, the conference. So Kaltura Connect is happening on September 30 and October 1st in New York, New York City. Uh, I think it's one of the most exciting conferences in the world if you care about online video, if you cared about the future of media in general. Um, you're going to meet there a lot of experts from education field, from enterprises, from uh, media and entertainment companies like publishers and broadcasters. Um, this is like a place where everyone is coming to discuss uh, what they do with video, um, how they uh, build video experiences, uh, how they augment video and the whole uh, applications of, uh, of video in all sorts of different industries. Um, uh, along with Kaltura Connect, we're announcing three different con contests actually. Uh, one is a contest of, for um, the future of online video. Uh, basically what we're asking uh, users to do is to tell us how you think video is going to change the world um, in the next few years. Um, everything from 
third world com uh, countries to the future of education and how uh, students learn. Um, building on top of that, the most exciting visions that people share uh, will be selected and actually produced uh, as videos. Um, so we'll um, offer grants for video creators to create those videos, to actually produce them. Um, and then those videos will be pr uh, broadcasted and shown um, at Caltra Connect in front of all those people. Um, so it's also a great opportunity to visit New York. Uh, we'll pay for your travel and your accommodations. And um, lastly, is a really exciting contest for developers. And we're going to offer $15,000 prize for uh, developers building exciting and new video experiences. So uh, things that are web-based, um, HTML5 specifically, that will augment the way people engage and interact with video online. And that's it. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, both for your uh, interview. And I look forward to hearing more about your um, video products and your progress in particular with uh, WebRTC uh, over the coming months. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. And uh, check it out on Caltra.org, Caltra.com, and uh, GitHub.com slash Caltra. Thanks.